so exercise 8.3 fifth sum is a very important uh, 10 mark sum so let's pay attention to this mm, so it's a solve x squared this is a differential equation basically right so you have to solve this equation so to solve the equation let's first bring it to the dy by dx form so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to retain dy on this side on my left hand side and i'm going to take the x squared plus y squared to the right hand side right but i can't take it just away here it is plus x squared plus y squared dx so when it goes to the other side it becomes a minus right now let's write it of the form dy by dx so dy by dx becomes minus x squared plus y squared by 3xy I have not done anything I have just brought dx down and taken 3xy down to the right hand side ok now this is of the form dy by dx and here we see that dy by dx is of the f is, is this is basically a homogeneous equation of order 1 degree 1 and it's also a function of y by x right so in this case you know that you have to to solve this differential equation you have to substitute with the formula y is equal to vx and you know that uh, when you differentiate this you will get dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx okay this is basically i have differentiated vx using uv method udv plus vdu okay so let's substitute this over here okay so now i get v plus x dv by dx is equal to minus i rate in as it is x square you know that y is equal to v, vx so y squared is v squared x square by 3 into x and you know y is equal to v, vx so when i substitute here it will become there's already an x here right so it becomes x square v so we get v plus x dv by dx is equal to minus of this divided by 3x squared v good now we have eliminated y so the next step that we have to do is bring all the x and v components separately bring the x to the left hand side and v to the right hand side or whatever you know way you want it but before that do you observe that i can cancel out x squared over here because it is common so my right hand side becomes simpler it is 1 plus v squared by 3v ok so v plus x dv by dx is equal to minus of 1 plus v squared by 3v so take the, the v's to the uh, uh, left hand side next to the right hand side ok so what I am going to do is I am going to take this v over here because you know let's bring all the v's together so it becomes minus 1 minus v squared by 3v minus v ok now for the right hand side I am taking the LCM which is 3v so this becomes minus 1 minus v squared and multiply this and this because the LCM is 3v becomes 3v squared so this becomes ok let me write it here minus 1 minus 4v squared by 3v ok so let's rewrite this so x dv by dx becomes minus of 1 plus 4v squared by 3v so you understood why I took the minus sign that's just to uh, you know help in the calculation when we take the LCM so now we can take the minus sign outside so now let's separate the x so I am taking x dx this side so it becomes dx goes on top and uh, here x here when it comes down it becomes 1 by x and on the right hand side it becomes minus 3v by 1 plus 4 v squared ok so this is nothing but 
you know this goes on top and this comes down that's all okay now we have separated v and x so the next step is we have to integrate this i think the right hand side the integration is pretty straightforward it's just going to be log x because i hope you remember the formula that integration of 1 by x dx is equal to log x right but if i have integration of 1 by 1 plus x square dx right if i have to write this as log of 1 plus x squared i need to have a 2x on top right that's typically how we do it right but if you see in this case if i need to write this as log as log of i'll just create some space for myself if i need to write this as log of 1 plus 4v squared then my integration should typically be 1 by 1 plus 4 v square dv and on the numerator I need to have an 8v basically the differentiation of this should be in the numerator but do I have 8v over here? no, I have only a 3v so what I am going to do is I am going to multiply and divide by 8 right before I complete with the integration I am going to multiply and divide by 8 so now I can take a 3 by 8 outside because it's a constant and now I will get 8v dv by 1 plus 4v squared is equal to log x which we have already integrated so this is now straightforward right so it applies to this equation that we have here so it becomes minus 3 by 8 log of 1 plus 4 v squared which is equal to log x plus some constant say log c is this clear so now this the remaining part of the sum is only to you know expand this and complete it so 1 plus 4 v squared I'm going to multiply take 8 to the right hand side so it becomes 8 log x plus 8 log c or just log c log is just I mean c is just a constant so it doesn't matter if you're going to multiply it or not so now what happens is that you know that the basic rules of logarithm is whenever you have 3 log x it can be written as log of x power 3 right so that's basically the rule we are going to apply over here um, okay so but there is also a minus sign right so first let's get rid of that so what I am going to do is I am going to write it as 3 log 1 plus 4v the 4v square is equal to right minus 8 log x plus log c or rather it's say let's make it minus log c and press let's bring the log c is just a constant so don't worry too much about it so this now becomes 3 log 1 plus 4 v square plus 8 log x is equal to log c okay now let's apply this rule over here so this becomes log 1 plus 4 v square the whole cube plus log x power 8 is equal to log c now you also know the other logarithmic rule that log a plus log b can be written as a into b right so that's what i'm going to do here so this now becomes let me create some space for myself i'm just moving these rules so this becomes 1 plus 
फोर बी स्क्वायर द होल क्यूब प्लस एक्स पार एट इज इक्वल टू सी ओके नॉट प्लस इट ऑब्वियसली बिकम्स इन टू राइट इन टू एक्स पार एट इज इक्वल टू सी सो यू नो दैट रिमेंबर राइट ऑन टॉप वी सब्सिट्यूटेड वाई इज इक्वल टू वी एक्स सो नाउ इफ आई हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट फॉर वी वी इज इक्वल टू वाई बाई एक्स राइट सो लेट सब्सिट्यूट वी इज इक्वल टू वाई बाई एक्स इन दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस बिकम्स वन प्लस फोर इन टू वाई स्क्वायर बाई एक्स स्क्वायर द होल क्यू इन टू एक्स पार एट इज इक्वल टू सी ओके सो you can further simplify this by taking the lcm so when i i'm just continuing it here it becomes the lcm for this becomes x square so it becomes x square plus 4 y square the whole cube divided by x square was the lcm right i'm just multiplying with the super power 3 here so it becomes x power 6 into x power 8 is equal to c now this and this will get cancelled so your resultant answer becomes x squared how did i get this x squared it is nothing but x power 8 divided by x power 6 when you subtract the powers you get x squared so x squared into x squared plus 4y squared the whole cube is equal to c so this is the final answer this is your solved differential equation so typically it's an easy sum but only thing is that you have a lot of calculations to do moving things to the left hand side and right hand side but keep practicing it for a couple of times i'm sure you'll master the sum and get those 10 marks